my Savior art thou. If ever I love thee, my Jesus is now. I love thee because thou hast first loved me. We greet all of you in the wonderful name of our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. On this very special day, when we, so to say, accompany someone whom we lovingly knew as Uncle Robbie to his last abode. The Lord has come to fetch him, and now he is at the home that he desired for so long. And then, in a very special and humble way, we'd like to greet 
your highness, highness, the queen of the Zulu nation who is in our midst. And we so appreciate it that she has honored us with her presence on this day. And then we also want to greet especially all the co-workers who were in the co-worker team together with Uncle Robert. And then we also want to say thank you very much and welcome Uncle Robert's daughter who's come from Europe all the way to be here present at the funeral. And I heard yesterday when I spoke to her at the reception that she's just come especially for this day. She flew down for this uh, funeral and then tomorrow she'll be flying back again. I've been asked to conduct the funeral to, or at least uh, the program for the funeral for Uncle Robbie. And to me, it's such a great privilege to be able to do that. For I've known Uncle Robbie for a very long time. And the 1980s, when the choir visited Europe, he was our driver and he drove the bus through all those mountains there in Switzerland, through Europe. He was our driver. And we preached the gospel together with him. Going around telling people about these glad tidings of great joy for all people. And I also worked together with Uncle Robbie for a while there in the carpentry workshop, the wood workshop. Uncle Robert And I knew Uncle Robert as somebody that was fully dedicated to the Lord's work. He left everything. He left his home country, he left his business, he left everything to come to Africa to preach the gospel. And something that I knew him in particular for was when he did something, he didn't just do half a job, he did a proper job. He made sure it was done perfectly. And when he did the measurements, he'd always make sure he's accurate to the millimeter. Because he knew if you're out with your measurements, then everything becomes crooked. And these benches on which we're sitting here in the auditorium, he's the one who built and made these benches. And not only here, but also many benches that we're using at our other branches. Now, one can never say everything of a person, it's impossible, all his deeds, I was just asked to be the MC. 
wase faya ukuthi kuba uyena uzovulela inkonzo yethu ngomthandazo bese ngizobuye ngisho kunye and we'll ask them to hand over the microphone there in the front to Uncle Hogart Yostin, uh, one of the fathers of the congregation, and we'll ask him to open and pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you that you gave us Ravi to be with us so many years. Babu etu se zulwini si abonga gakulu uguba wasnigeza yena ubaba u Uncle Robert uguba abe nati iminyagi mningangaka. And we thank you Lord that he was a man who was prepared whatever the Lord showed him that he would do that work and finish it off. Si abonga nku si uguba yena bengu muntu now, Lord, that the time has come for us to depart and bring him, bring him to the cemetery to be buried there. Simbege lapo ezolala kona ema ngwabini. Lord, you once again revealed your word where you said, I've got the key of life and health. They are in my hands. Kosis kunjuzwa kanye futi, loko kshi loguti, kipeti zikie. Zempilo nezogufa zezulu nezehaites. Oh Lord, all of us will have to pass this. Song can cause Gumelo Gubangel in Yelanga, Sihambe Gulum Saba, Sishelum Sab. Please, Lord, we pray, keep on working in our hearts and reveal to us the great work of you saving us from all sin that we have committed against thee and against your people. Kosi siya kaya guba ukubege usebenze ezi mpilwe ni zetu ukubege nogu sambulela imfitlagalo lenkulu guba Uzile uguba zo sindisa kuzo zonke zono zetu esi zenzile guwe na kubantu bako. Lord, we commit ourselves and this service into your hands. Kusi si snike latina. To be at the cemetery. Ganye na yonke le nkonzo ezandle nizako. Lord, we thank you that you have taken the, our sins and you've carried them with you right to the end of the cross when you died. Siabonga nko, singaloko senzele gona, espambanweni, watwala zonki zono zetu kona, espambanweni. And that is, Lord, for everyone, even the young people, don't pass them by because we have all got to pass that time where we will appear before Thee. Siyatela nkosu kubaloko ubambulele futi wonku muntu na bobonka abasha ngoba sonke kuzomelo kubangeli nyilanga we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you give to the young people and to us old people that we will see the, the work of thy hands of a person being born again, but also passing 
Siya bonga nkusi. Uguba sikuwa zuguti songe sibe na lilituba. Abasha na batala guba singapinde. Sizwe izindabe zinte. Zoguzalwa kwenkusi etu Jesu Christ. So Lord, presence thyself with us. He be with us. Undertake further for us. And we ask this Lord that we don't forget to give all the honor and glory to you. And that we ask that in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who died and rose again for us, Yes, Lord, all glory be to you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. To Uncle Hogart Yostin. Umbi Gonje Ovela Gubaba Umfundis. A message that is from Reverend Stegan. Ubabum Fundis Utumele Uguti Sisho Uguti Ubenga Tanda Ganga Ganani Ugutabe Kona Naye Kulum Waboga Uncle Robert. He sent a message that he would have so much wished to be here at Uncle Robert's funeral. Godwa Agwenze Ganga. But unfortunately, it's not possible. Why said Tifuti Ubenga Tanda Uguti Akulume Go Uncle Robert? And then he said that he wanted to speak to Uncle Robert. Goba U Uncle Robert, we are Mazi Use Sale Naye Iminyaga. Because he knew Uncle Robert very well, who's been here for many years. No gui nigela wake nanga yo yong and je im sebenzi u Uncle Robert Ayanzile Ayanzela Ingos. And he knew about Uncle Robert's dedication, commitment, and all that which he did for the Lord's work. So we're going to sing a German hymn song, and, but we'll ask those who are going to assist us to come forward and to lead us in singing. But before they do so, I've been sent and asked to also make this announcement. That uh, at our branch in Europe and Romania, on the 26th of this month, 26th of December, there's going to be an engagement. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce the names correctly because they've been written down. The boy, or the young man, is David Graf. And the, the girl or the young lady is Owama Veshunka, as it's written. Dort auf Golgotha stand einst ein altraues Kreuz, steht ein Sinnbild von Leiden und Weh. Doch ich liebe das Kreuz, denn dort hing einst der Herr und in ihm ich das Gottes 
Herzen wird dich das so traue Kreuz, bis ich Jesu mehr Blick auf dem Thron. Ich will halten mich fest an das Kreuz, als erhält dich dafür meine Thank you very much. So at this opportunity, I'll ask Baba Dube to come forward to speak on behalf of the co-workers and the whole congregation. Dunkulu, Patrocello, MC, all the co workers present, Ibanta, the congregation, Abasha, young people, Isobo, friends, Dotarazi, Uncle Robert, Uncle Robert's daughter who is with us, Naba Peshea, Abalalele. And those overseas watching and listening over live streaming, we greet you. You know, the, you notice that a person who is a preacher often speaks a lot. And then you think that you should never give such a person the opportunity to be the MC. Now he's already said so much that I was going to say. And then I said, now nah, he's already said this which I was going to say. And he said that which I was going to say. Now what else am I still going to say? Because we really knew Uncle Robert well. So as co-workers, we have truly been bereaved. And the congregation has been bereaved. And 
Because always when we were together, we knew that Uncle Robert would be there. No man had to go to the morning, no man had to go to the morning, no man had to go to the morning. And when he wanted to share something, whether it was something difficult or something happy, he would share it and we would be with him. No man had to go to the morning, no man had to go to the morning, no man had to go to the morning, no man had to go. And whenever somebody was taken from our midst from the congregation, we would mourn together with him. No matter how far we come from the church, we would sing. Or 2019, says we will not cool. We will not sing. And 19, 2019, when Reverend Stegen said, we are going to see something that we've never seen before. What God is going to do, we were expecting to see it together with him. Now, all of us never knew what it was that was awaiting us in 2019. But then COVID arrived. And when it came, then we knew this is what God had revealed to Reverend Stegen. Now to Uncle Robert's daughter, we spent a lot of time with Uncle Robert when he was unwell, coming, various co-workers coming to see him and visit him. And it also comforted us when we saw you that you love the Lord. And we don't know who's going to cover and close his gap because we were so happy to see an older person in our midst. Even when he was unwell, he would come and be with us in meetings until eventually he became so weak and the Lord took him. He was gifted with his hands. He was gifted to work with wood and he could build complete houses. And there's so much that he did for the different branches, the different places where we've got buildings, where he sent benches there, etc. There at Dundee, we said, Uncle Robert, we need benches. And he got up. And he said, this is how you've got to design them. This is the design. These are the measurements. Make them like this. And so they made those benches, and right now they're using them there in Dundee. <clears throat> and may those who remain behind follow in his footsteps. And Reverend Stegen had said to me, he said, when you co-workers need anything, don't hesitate. Go to Uncle Robert and he will definitely help you. And I remember at home, when we had a burglary, they broke the door, and then Uncle Robert was able to assist us to fix it. He said, if you've got any need, any problem pertaining to wood or carpentry, don't hesitate, go to him, and he will help you. That's why I say we as co-workers, we've really lost and in his, uh, on his sick bed, in his illness, 
He longed so much that the Lord would come to fetch him. And then we'd say to him, No, Uncle Robert, we still need you. But one could sense from his way that he saw there where he was going was already nearby and was close at hand. And he loved the Lord, and even in adverse conditions, I remember we were with Mr. Zondi there at Malelan, close to the Swaziland border, and uh, he was on the roof there, nailing down roof sheets in the beating sun, uh, the African sun, shining down. He said, no, Reverend Stegan wants this building to be finished at a certain time, and he pushed for it. And when we got there, he, before anything else, he said, look, we've got no machinery and equipment here. We don't have a tractor. So you've got to take a pick and a shovel and dig. On that day, we didn't go out to preach. Reverend Stegan phoned to know how many schools have you visited? And then we said, no, today we haven't gone out we're busy with pick and shovel here. Yeah, we're busy digging so we can build. <laughs> and then Reverend Stegan said, have you told him, though, that you have been called? And tell him you have been called to preach the gospel. And we went back to him. We said, Uncle Robert... Reverend Stegan said, we should tell you, we've been called to preach the gospel. That's what we've got to be busy with. Now, hear me well. When he heard that, he didn't get upset or irritated in the least. That caused him to show his love for the Lord even more. So may we too, congregation, have the same heart. Yeah, bon. Thank you. Thank you very much to Baba Dube, speaking on behalf of the co-workers. As I mentioned that Uncle Robert's daughter is in our midst, we'd like to ask her to come forward and to share what's on her heart. Uma ishala pansi sirkatile ngeren sa suguma kuzobe sek suguma ikwaya ya gase zabandu izostulela. And after her, I won't stand up, but the kwase zabandu choir will come forward and sing. Es ist kein Zufall, dass ich hier bin. It's not just, uh, it doesn't just happen that I'm here. Es war in ein Geschenk, ein Vorrecht ist es, dass ich hier sein darf. It's a gift and a privilege that I may be here with you. Weil die Schweiz, wo ich herkomme und auch mein Vater herkommt, die ist ein bisschen weiter weg als gleich hier um die Ecke. <laughs> Because Switzerland, the country where I come from and where my father was born and lived is not just around the corner here, it's a bit further away. 
ngoba iSwitzerland la kuvela khona ubaba nazali lwakhona nami la ngivela khona ayikho nje la iduze kodwa ikude impela Ich darf hier sein die einzige Tochter ich bin die zweitgeborene ich habe noch einen jüngeren Bruder und zwei ältere Brüder mein Vater hat also vier Kinder und ich bin stellvertretend für meine Brüder darf ich hier sein I'm so glad that I may be here I'm the only daughter of my father. I've got three brothers, two older ones and a younger one, and I'm here to represent all my siblings. Auch meine drei Brüder haben diese Gabe bekommen von Gott, diese handwerkliche Gabe. Auch sie sind fähig, Häuser zu bauen. Also my three brothers receive from God the same gift like my father, that they can work with their hands and build houses. In ihren Herzen sind sie ganz sicher jetzt hier unter uns. And I'm sure that in their hearts they are together with us at this moment. Und ich bin auch sicher, dass mein Vater, für den wir jetzt heute Abschied nehmen, sehr, sehr glücklich wäre, ist dass ich hierher kommen durfte. Leider dürfte es nicht möglich sein, noch zu seiner Lebzeit das äh, kurzfristig zu arrangieren. Das bedauere ich sehr. And I'm sure my father would be happy and is happy that I could make it to his funeral. Unfortunately, I could not come while he was still alive. It's difficult for me that It, I, it's so, but it wasn't possible. Und ich finde es wunder, wunderschön, dass gerade heute mein Vater seinen Abschied hier feiern darf dass wir das feiern dürfen mit ihm, für ihn, zusammen mit den vielen, vielen jungen Menschen, die 750 Menschen, die jungen Jugendlichen, die hier sein dürfen. Dass das jetzt hier gerade auf diese Zeit sich trifft, ist ein Riesenvorrecht, weil mein Vater liebt die Kinder auch über alles. Und ich denke, es ist wunderbar und es ist ein Privileg, dass sein Funeral, der Tag, wo wir sagen, goodbye to my father, is today where so many young people are present with us because my father also loved children and young people. And ich darf nicht hier stehen, weil ich das so wollte. Ich darf hier stehen und diese Zeit hier auch genießen und der Abschied von meinem Papa hier jetzt auch miterleben, weil ich das wollte. And I can say it's not I don't stand here because I asked for it and because I wanted it, but I'm so thankful that I can be here and together with you say goodbye to my father. Es ist, weil Gott es so äh, wollte. Es ist Gottes Wille, dass ich hier sein darf. It is because God ordained it like that. It was His will that it should happen like this in this way. Ja, und darum möchte ich eben gerade auch den jungen Menschen hier viel Mut machen. I'd like to encourage you, young people. 
Itande wuti ke bantu basha gimkutazi. I, I nearly speak, spoke English. Um, uh, praise, it, praise it in him, praise it in him, love it in and follow him, follow Jesus. That's what I say. It's my message to you, young people, and all other also. Ich danke euch und ich danke auch stellvertretend für meine Familie, für alles, alles, was ihr Gutes getan habt an meinem Papa. Und ich bin so dankbar, dass er hier seinen Dienst in Südafrika leben durfte, dass er seine Berufung leben durfte. I thank you, I thank you all in the name of my family for everything you've done for my father, all the good that he's received from you and that my father could spend half of his life here and serve the Lord in his work. Yeah. Praise the Lord together. Thank you. Wir loben und preisen den Herrn zusammen. Danke. Danke. As the choir is coming forward, uh, I'd like to say that today's service will be taken by our brother Franz Huber. So when the choir is finished, when they sit down, please come forward and share with us that which the Lord has laid on your heart. Thank you. I will sing two songs. Um, the one speaks about the resurrection of Christ out of the dead, out of a tomb where it seemed as if uh, Satan had overcome, but then in great power and might he arose and he conquered all evil powers and in great strength and glory. Nothing can subdue him until today he reigns. And then the Zulu song speaks of that great grace and the mercy that I was invited to come to Christ, to the cross, and there my heart and my life could be cleansed and I was clothed with a new garment that is snow white and you are all invited as well come to this fountain be washed that you can be dressed and one day appear before the Lord clothed in his righteousness Kwaizo tula matula be mabili ge elis jalmani e e si tolu gutu babu u ropet katel tanda kakulu kubestel gutu silkule el kuluma gochesu e pagati e tune nelim nyama lasi shokon gutu ge bash gutu maksuswe iche e tune nguze u krestu avu ge u fugile u krestu u namanda besegil kubega liti e susan lulu paulo lulu olu vimbele li nwa balele li tuna lelu jesu krestu avu ge awazu gutige abe inkose pilayo jesu krestu vugile masimtu mise simbaba ze nga kogonke asenzele kona bese siti ge gufa leta umnige lo wako nawe uzo mbonga unkulu unkulu goba u jesu krestu vugile ufugile u jesu krestu masilbonga ikamalake goba u jesu krestu unamanda malisuswe iche etuneni goba u jesu krestu unamanda uvugile bese stina gengele sizulu
Entschuldigt, dass ich einfach hier so komme, unge unge ungewünscht. Als wir be beschäftigt waren und, und anfingen, diese Bänke zu machen, Sorry, that I just da hatte, da hatte Robbie Kontakt, weil er vorher schon von seinem Beruf in der Schweiz konnte er da all die Nachforschung brauchen. Uh, sorry that I just come to the front uninvited, but I remember when we started making these benches. Uh, Uncle Robert, due to his previous career and business, had all the knowledge and had done all the research in order to do this work. Ob der Mensch zu, zu, zu lang ist oder zu kurz, nach Forschung zeigt er, dies ist das Muster für die Bänke. You had to look at ergonomics, whether the posture of a person, how tall a person is, how short, what should be the size of the bench that it would be comfortable for the average person. Und durch Robby hatten wir die Möglichkeiten, um die Schweiz, die ganz die vorragenden Forscher zu erreichen. Und da sagte, wenn dem dies ist das richtige Muster. And through Uncle Robert, we could get the right information in Switzerland and we could get the correct template. Ngenxa yakhe Uncle Robert, kwathi ukuthi sithole ulwazi Satola Uluazi, Olui Lona Lona, Siltole Switzerland, Uguti Fanele Enze Giganjan, Ake Giganjana Mapinch. Wenn der Mensch zu lang ist oder zu kurz, dies ist das rechte Muster. And this is the best design that will fit people of various sizes. Lo Lesi Zilingani, so Salama Penchi. Ein Behinderter oder einer, der nicht ganz geschickt war, dies war das Muster für einen jeden. And even if you would be handicapped in any way, this was the best design to even uh, fit such a person. And that sollte jeden, den Kranken und den Gesunden, jeden, Jeder, das weiß, dies war das rechte Muster, um da auch für sie zu passen. And whether a person would be ill or well, no matter what, this was the best template that would be suitable for those various categories of people. No man abu mundu ben aba optaga em zimbeni no ma opilayo gotwa lezis lingani so und somit haben wir nicht nur zu sagen, dass Onkel Robby diese Bänke gemacht hat. Nein, 
Es war nach einem Muster das Beste in der Schweiz. So, it's not only that he was able to screw together a couple of planks and make these benches, but it was done to the best design available in Switzerland. And I think das kann auch die Arbeit, die gemacht wurde, das kann Franz mir bezeugen. I think uh, Mr. Franz Huber probably would be able to testify more about the actual labor and the work that was done. Abangutu mnumzane uhuba ngeena onga wazu kufagaza ka lengo msebe nzu onke ngo owe nziwa wakiwa wala mapenchi. Und es war gut, wenn Onkel, das Onkel Robby da war, wie diese Bänke geplant war, worden sind. So, we are so thankful that Onkel Robert was there when these benches had to be designed and made. I greet the Queen and all those with her and I greet every one of you. Gia Kulega Gunjungulu. Now that I stand here, it's something special. When this task was given to me, first I thought, what, me? But on the other hand, I have joy that I can do it. Because if I can say it like this, Uncle Robert was the man with whom I spent the most time in my life together. And from the beginning when I came here 33, 34 years ago, it happened I was together with him. First it was just my visit, but immediately I was drawn to him. There my time was has passed of my visit. And then I had already planned for my life. After I met, I have met the Lord, I knew I want to serve the Lord full time and with all my heart. And I had already made arrangement I would serve in a monastery in Germany. But when I, just before I left, I asked Uncle Robert, I called him Uncle Robert, even he was, I must say, like the, a father. Robert, he left his family, his children, sons, they were in Switzerland. And it happened I left my family in Germany. 
Name Gwangenze in the Fanayo, Ashia Umdenwagi Techan man. And we were immediately like father and son. Mokshesha, Wafanga Safana, Nobuti, Ubaba, and Dota Nayak. But then before I left, after my visit, I went, yes, I went to Uncle Alo, I went to others. What must I do now? Because I wasn't sure, is monastery really my place? And then none of them said, no, don't do that. You pray and ask the Lord what you should do. When a kulega ubuze gunkulunkulu gutwenze njani. My, the Lord says, my sheep hear my voice. Iti ginko si izimvuzami ziyali izwa ipimbolami. And also then, when I still ask Uncle Robert, what do you say? Ngapinda futi ngambuzo Uncle Robert, Uncle Robert, said, now, let's pray together and let the Lord show you what you should do. Why said you, Uncle Robert, as Kulege, sits early in Kosi Kombi, so good to finally win the end. That we did, we parted like this, and I was a half a year in the monastery. Eh, Nangampela, Sakulega, Vawaloko, Satugana, Nahamba, Naba, it always Kashan is Fushan in his seven delay. And then I don't tell now all the story, but there was a time I felt I should come here for a year. And because the Lord really showed me this is was for this six months about your place. I, I had plans for you, but not further on in the monastery. And I wrote a letter to Uncle Robert. Uncle Robert, I'm coming. Why say a Uncle Robert, And Uncle Robert told me afterwards, 